Hey guys, we are here with Rich Redman, and today we've got a little special. What's this going on? What are we doing right now? Oh, you wanted to just, uh, you know, uh, have me show the uh, kids some quick licks. I did. I did. So these are some things that can give you not only facility on the drums, but they sound really cool either in a song or maybe at the end of the song when everyone's doing the trash can ending. So one of the things that I like to do is classic rock inspired. It's just basically a triplet, shagga da boom. Yep. And so you're on the snare drum, high tom in place. And so you go, shut da da boom. One note on each drum. So you make it, put it in time, shake it a boom, shake it a boom. Try to get it to be super clean. Shake it a boom, shake it a boom. Oh, right? amazing. So it's good to have. You can kind of reverse it too. You can go boo doo doo ka. So you start with the bass drum. Boot and hand in place on the floor tom, so it'd be kick, right, left, snare. So you start combining them. So you start combining these things. So now you can add another kick drum note for a sex tuplet. So you have tugga da da boom, tugga da da ba boom. So you have four notes on top and two on the bottom. So what I do is I keep my hand in place here on the high tom, and the sticking is gonna be right, 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 two on the feet. So, sha da 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 ba sha da 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 ba slow. You start to speed it up. It's right. good to have in a song. One, two, one. It's good to have, you know, for a little soul thing or at the end of a song. A little thing to have in your back pocket, you know. Dude, amazing. There's another one you're doing between the snare and the rack tom. What's that one? Snare and rack tom. Yeah, yeah. Classic rock stuff. So another thing you could do is, um, let me see, is it basically based on a triplet, which is the sticking is just right, 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 right. So you can start throwing this around the toms and the cymbals, so. Fun, impressive thing at the end of the song. You could also use it in grooves. It's just a triplet. Amazing. All right, give us another one, man. What are the licks you got? Let's see. There was one you were playing off camera. We're going to get to it in a second, dude. We're going to. It's a cool Dave That's Grohl like thing. That's the ultimate Nirvana. Yeah, it's right? like Teen Spirit. But you can really you can start throwing it around. And I, there's, to me, the key to keeping it in time is putting that upbeat as a ghost note. Right. So you got. One E, a two E, a three, and then I put that little ghost note in there. So the right hand's going. Sounds really classic. Dude, that sounds amazing. You know? Another thing you could do is two hand, two in the hands, two in the feet, which is basically just. Usually just. Really get a work. 
work on your pedal yeah. there, and you can start throwing it around like. That wasn't very clear. Ooh. Right about that tempo, I go to the double pedal. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, no kidding. That's right. <laughs> you know, so it's why just, not, man? It's just a cool. It's a cool thing to have in your bag of trips. And you sound, you'll sound classic. You'll sound yes. like a classic rock drummer. There was another one you're doing where you get a six-stroke roll. Kargum. Okay, I got that from Gad. So which basically is, I've taught you the triplet. So you go. So. nice thing to Come have in your, in your bag of tricks and the six stroke roll is also you i mean that's kind of a motown inspired yes. feel you've all heard this one one two i get so much use out of that yes because you can use it you know in your fills right you can also use it in your solos Amazing. So it's very powerful. Oh, okay. Let's break that one down really quickly. We just got right, left, left, right, right, left. Yeah. So if you're working with these triplets, the building block of the six stroke roll is just essentially a triplet with the accented first stroke. So. The second part is. So triplets, you have. Right? So you combine them so you have even slower. So you speed it up. the kit you can even play you know with playing in shuffles that's Guys. stuff that Betty Brits and Gene Krupa were doing you know and you oh, can use yeah. it in a pop song you can use it in a Latin song but you can use it in a drum solo but your six stroke roll Quick licks with Rich. Play us out, man.